what's up everyone welcome back to another YouTube video probably my most requested video I get this every single video and to be honest I've been promising it for a long time so might as well do it just now we're here in Telakaranda Turku Finland now living here or have living here for like a, a bit over a year I couldn't live anywhere else in Turku it's just so beautiful and it's like its own place here basically because we have our stores around here so you don't have to go like outside of Telakaranda to the center of Turku and even the center is like probably two kilometers away so really close you can just walk there but I don't really need to do anything in the center Just to give you guys a little history lesson of Turku. There's Suomen Yotes and that was a Finnish uh, naval ship. It was operating in like 1902 to, was it 1920? And then behind over there, you can see Turku Castle that was built in like the 13th century. So, you know, we got some history here. And actually this place where I live is relatively new. As you can see, like everything is shit this is like being heavily built as you can see new new buildings coming in it's just like at a perfect place like the sea opens over there like it's the end of the river down there just a sick place but I think we'll go and check my apartment building out right now so yeah here's my apartment building I live at the last or maybe I shouldn't say that I just fucking my doors over there You guys saw the entrance. I'll show you guys a little how it looks. Such a sick place, such a sick place. I've rarely ever seen like apartment buildings like this, at least in Finland. This uh, used to be an old, oh no, they fucking build ships. They yeah. build ships. They used to build ships inside this, hence the really, really high ceilings. And I think it's really made nicely, keeping all, all the loft vibes here. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys the other other inside area this is the floor i always walk to if i go to a cigarette back so i'll basically show my cigarette route my mom started to watch my videos she's not gonna like that one <laughs> so yeah if you guys follow me on instagram this is one of the places i pretty often have taken some photos from and even on YouTube I've used this place on some videos but as you can see kind of the same thing as over there but it's kind of more open people have their or like balconies kind of this in this inside area which I wouldn't like personally but but there's my uh, little cigarette corner there Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. I don't want to go into physics, but if you like think of it, it's like probably 50 meters from their balcony. Like if you smoke a little cig, you know, it can't be that bad. Come on. <laughs> so we're going to walk the stairs now. This is what I always do. If I come from this floor, I always walk the stairs. Four stairs I'm not going to do, but three I can do. So here's my door, but first I'll show this thing. This is probably one of the coolest things about my apartment. As you can see, here's the whole hallway. Whole hallway here. Only one person lives in this hallway. My door is fucking squeaky, don't mind that. So yeah, I had to get some uh, coffee before I start the tour. When you come inside, like, this is one of my favorite parts as well. It's like you can straight up see the river and little views. Here's a little mirror before you leave. You can, you know, make sure the fit is all right. 
Here's my bathroom. When you come inside, it's straight on the right. You know, it's pretty plain, it's pretty white. If I would have uh, made this bathroom, I would have probably put some depth in it, you know, some maybe darker tones and maybe some wood. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm probably sounding kind of picky here, but best thing about it, rainfall shower, definitely. First time I've had a rainfall shower and fucking, it's amazing. Obviously the shitter and yeah really not much more you have two lighting options as well so you can use this light that is actually nice it's probably one of my favorite parts about this bathroom is this lighting but then you have this one as well if you want to use it it's better if you use both anyways that was the bathroom on the right here's my bed i don't have no uh blanket to cover it don't really fucking care i rarely ever do my bed did it for this video so like, there's so many good things about this apartment that I'm like, or like, that is perfect for me, you know? I really like this apartment. Got a fuck ton of closet space. Like, this whole hallway here, which is, it's six full-on closets. You can put your shit, you know? I rarely ever use these clothes, like, that I have here. That's a lot of clothes I don't use, man. Yeah, but uh, occasionally, yeah, I got like, you know, my t-shirts there, all my socks, all my boxers, some sweatpants hoodies and you know fucking what are they called like sportswear here's kind of some like pointless clothes don't have really anything interesting here wrap jacket that's actually pretty nice then some winter jackets leather jackets vintage all vintage levi's vintage leather jacket again that one's really nice and vintage bomber kind of like my vintage jackets and like fuck i have a lot of clothes like i haven't looked at my closets for a long time because my uh, kind of like genuine clothing section is in the living room area as I'll probably show but yeah have some shoes there as well there I have my skateboard with some more shoes on it and I got more shoes in the <laughs> living room area so yeah this is the place I kind of spend all my time in. I don't have basically anything here. I don't have a TV. I don't really have shit. I got those views and I got my computer. I basically use that. If PewDiePie would react to this video, he'd be mad that I don't have a, have a TV or fucking <laughs> any gaming setup. Yeah, there's many reasons for that. I had like a PS4 and I didn't really like feel any of the games. It was like probably even two years ago, I think. Last time I played was like 2019 when I was in the military. But after that, I just haven't played and I don't really uh, feel the need to. But when Skate 4 comes on PS5, then I'll get it. I've been waiting for like some good game to come out. It's uh, given me more time to kind of focus on things that, you know, maybe matter a bit more. What I can show here, fucking kitchen. There's my coffee maker, there's my sink. Here's my uh, dishwasher, tons of space to store different things like these are all like stuff that my uh, parents didn't use and like not gonna lie my mom has a good taste in things so she just didn't use any of these and I basically got all, all of this I do not need like this amount of glasses like I always just use the uh, shaker cups to drink water like I don't fucking need these for anything but here more glasses my plates these are actually nice I like them there Blue, my favorite color, and has some flowers on it. Pretty nice. Uh, all of these are the same, like my, you know, fucking all these. And then some more glasses. These are actually quite nice. Yeah, I think that was it for the kitchen. Here's my uh, table. I can't call it a dining table because uh, I still have that spot always open. I kind of store different things on here because... You know, I'm always alone. I don't really need a big table, you know, to seat people. This kind of uh, serves multiple purposes. Painted this one myself. I used to have a ton of boxes here. Like, maybe you could have seen it in the last video. Or, not the last video, but the, uh, well, the previous vlog. I've been ordering, ordering a lot of shit. Like, a lot during the time I've been living here. So now I got rid of it, but then, then I thought I'm gonna keep those uh, shoe boxes there to kind of serve that purpose. I just put kind of little things in my apartment that reflects myself. 
Like I could go kind of into, into detail about some, probably the most obvious one is gonna be my clothing rail. But yeah, got some boxes there to remind me I'm a fucking nasty consumer, man. Then here is like my, like a TV would go there perfectly, but that's my, you know, filming setup. Y'all know this corner. It stays the same, like, you know, I don't, I don't need anything else there. Another thing that I love about my apartment is like, people are just like, genuinely, uh, look relaxed here. Like, you know, everyone's kind of like walking their dogs. Oh no, it just has a nice vibe to it. And during the summer, uh, boats and stuff go past the river. And when you open this, you can kind of, uh, you know, hear the sounds of boats and stuff. Y'all have seen this view, but it really doesn't get old. Like, it is a genuinely nice view. One thing also about this apartment is, uh, kind of like all the furniture, it's really easy to, you know, put, at least for me, I just bought like kind of big furniture that fills up the space, but, you know, I don't need a four-seater couch, but it makes the space look nice, and this is just the Ikea couch. Here's my fucking life, man. <laughs> Almost, almost. Well, I'm not that shallow, but this is like my kind of <laughs> life work, let's say that. Let's say that. Doesn't have too much. Quickly show it. Uh, this brick leather jacket would be here. Uh, my Namacheco, Larry B, Placket jacket, Issy Blazer, Kiko, A6 jacket, Rick shirt, Rick T, or vest, whatever you call it, Acne vest. Prada blazer, Rick champion hoodie, acne hoodie with Dior cummerbunds inside, Dries hoodie, Jacques Mousse denim, Asics Kiko quilted pants, and these, the second most asked thing on my channel are these pants. Y'all probably already know what these are because I've been saying it so many times because you've been asking, but Dries black floral pants, fucking amazing pants. Then we have a Kiko top, three shirts, Bought a cardigan and a few knits. These are all vintage. Then I just have my Kiko hat here and then my bags. The Craig Green one, a uh, Guidi tote, which isn't mine. Rick Owens tote. And then my pants, not all of them, but the ones, the ones I tend to use. I'm not gonna go through them. I'll have a full fucking video about that. I just wanted to show kind of the clothing rail because I've never s shown it. You know, if you wanna see the pants, just go to my pants video. This here where I can store shit, fills up the space if I didn't have anything. My apartment is like really minimalist cause like, you know, I don't have like fucking anything in here. It's like probably boring as shit when people come here. Don't fucking care. <laughs> Here's uh, just my only painting. I got it made for me by uh, this girl from Turku. I just wanted, I saw her make like uh, some paintings that I liked and I, I just saw that like in a black color, it could be nice. Fills up this space nicely, has cold written on it. That was the other uh, thing that I wanted. This has always also been like a temporary home for me. Like, you know, I got this home just after COVID started and I knew that, you know, COVID was bad that I was like, I'm gonna at least be a year here. So I just wanted a nice space that I can live in, you know, all the vibes. And I think this place does it amazingly. And I pay 890 rent for this euros. You're entitled to your own opinion, but I think that's a really good price for what you're paying. Here, just have some decoration. That to remind me also. Every time I see it, I wanna put it on because it smells so good. Yeah, fucking bananas. I'm gonna eat one now. This, this place is like, in Durbu, we don't have places like this. All the walls and the, like tiles and shit. So it's like yeah, that's actually true like, as well. It's like different. So yeah, yeah. I the whole like great. the whole apartment building even is like fully different because like the ones you guys saw at the like end over there, they're like really nice as well. But they're still kind of like just new. Yeah. You know, they're like the new vibe. Like everything is just new. But this has its like you know, own you know, concrete walls. Yeah, everything's just uh. Different vibe. So, like I said previously, I'm a nasty consumer, and when you tune into my channel, you are very highly likely to get a little unboxing action. So, y'all are gonna get some unboxing right now. Hit it like I was Santa. No one could even see it coming, you know. 
and this is a uh, Rick Owens Dark Shadow shoe box. He he could have sent it sent it double box, but it would have cost more, and I don't really care. I bought two items from a dude on Grailed. I can I'll link his uh, IG here. He has some nice pieces also on his Grailed, mostly like Rick. I think it's mostly Rick. He has probably something else as well. I think it was like Midtown Archive, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Okay, here. There we go. I opened it up all wrong. Like, that was fucked. I fucking suck at opening it up shit. So, here we go. First up, new pair of boots, man. Like, y'all kn know I used the, uh, uh, well, the boots I used earlier in this video as well. Like, all the time. I thought I'd get another pair. Well, they aren't the same, but they have the same, like, you know, silhouette, but the bottom is different. These can be, like, kinda, even more beaters. Hope these fit. Yeah, they fit. First one's a success. These are gonna fit. Fucking good. I actually said on my Instagram as well that I need Rick denim. Well, here we go. Now we have it. It's been kind of a, like a long time coming. I've been wanting a pair of skin, skinnier jeans for a long time. I bought the Gucci ones, but they're so loud that it's kind of like hard to use in more in more of a subtle manner, basically, because like. They're really flashy piece. These are waxed. I think these were the Tyrone cut. Yeah, Tyrone cut and size 29. I'll actually have to try them on. Wait, but wait a second. Straight off the bat, these fit good, and they're not like way too skinny, you know? Cause sometimes they could be like, you know, hella skinny, but for my legs, that's hardly ever a problem. It's not with these. Another all black fit. I think it's fucking sick, man. These are hella comfortable, these pants. I thought th these wouldn't like, you know, stretch that much. I thought they would, these would be like really stiff, but not the case at all. Jesus Christ. Christ, I'm like slim tight. This is like an easy everyday fit as well. I don't know if that would be for everyone, but I think like, you know, the pants are comfortable, they're black, shoes are comfortable, look nice, they're black. This hoodie, comfortable, black, and it's all right. <laughs> Fucking sick. So uh, one thing I like is that these boots are also higher than these ones. That's the difference. These are higher with skinnier jeans. I can like stack them pretty high. As you can see, I le I'd leave it like this. In my opinion, it's just a really nice look. That bottom half, like I could basically use this every day is the point. So yeah, it's gonna be a daily fit. Probably take some fit pics. I don't know fucking when. We could do it now basically also. Okay, I'm gonna take them now. If, if I end up taking them, I'll fucking post them here. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I don't know how much footage we got for this, but that was my apartment and that was my two new pickups. See you next time. What's up everyone? Yesterday I filmed the apartment tour and I forgot I promised you guys that I'll show the leather jacket I picked up in my last vlog uh, because I didn't give any close-ups of it. I'll go get the leather jacket now and I'll show it to you guys quickly. And I'm wearing, these will become absolute beater pants. These are the pants I unboxed yesterday and wearing these as well. Here it is. By far my favorite pickup I've done. This is just suits my style so well. Everything about this jacket is like so amazing. The quality just fucking out of this world. All the hardware, as you can see, you know, the yeah. As you can see, everything is just so shiny. Everything's 
so good quality. The outside part, uh, these are lamb leather, the leather patches you see, and everything else is uh, blistered lambskin suede. Here y'all can see a bit more of the details. It's just so amazing, you can see. Just looks so nice, has this arm pocket as well, which is very convenient. I, I've been storing like my credit cards and stuff because uh, it's pretty tight fit. I don't want to put my wallet in this part, you know. I just put the cards I need to use on the sleeve. Inside, full silk, has a inside pocket here as well. There we go. And another one on the other side. So you can basically fit a lot of stuff in this jacket even though it's very short and tight and quite small. Just absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. These as well, just so sick. Just love this combo. Basically all black everything, but works perfectly together and uh, apart as well. Quickly just shown, I'll obviously showcase these pieces better in a pickups video because I dedicate those videos to kind of uh, show them all a bit more and talk about them a bit more. So that will happen in this case as well. I don't think I have more to add to this video. Got quite a lot of footage, so it'll end up to be a slightly longer video, but y'all have been asking for this video so much, so I thought might as well just, you know, fully cover everything of the apartment. And since I promised as well uh, about the leather jacket, now I showed you a bit of the details and you guys can get a better picture of how it looks and what it's like. But I think that's it for this video. I'll film something next week. Not sure what, but I'll see you guys really soon.